Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to validate the email at client side using JavaScript. Now let's enter some values. I'm entering some random values. When I click button control, see, it's not a valid email ID. Suppose it's Charan at gmail.com. It's a valid email ID. If I enter .com some other text, so it's not a valid email ID. And the email ID, I'm allowing the capital letters, small letters, and numbers. ch3 at gmail.com. I'm deleting this. Let's check this email ID is valid or not. So it's a valid email ID. If I enter some special characters which I am not allowing dollar or percentage see we got an error message it's not a valid email ID because the special characters we have mentioned only the underscore is allowed and iPhone is allowed other than that the special characters for example hash is not allowed if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Right now in this Notepad++ contains a simple HTML code with header tags h1, h2, one horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I have added some elements which is a text box control and the second one is a button control. And the last one I have added the H3 tag to show the results is a valid email or not. Now before adding the JavaScript functionality to check the valid email or not, first we'll check the basic output how it looks the designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code. Right now this HTML page contains two header tags, one text box control and one button control. Now my aim is when a user enter an email, the entered email is valid email or not. Let's write the JavaScript code. In the header section, I'm adding script. I'm closing the script. Now in the script tag, I'm adding function, email function. I'm declaring a variable email email is equals to I'm getting the email from the text box control so document dot get element by ID between double quotes between double quotes I'm adding the text box ID text email dot value after that, I'm adding another variable for the regular expression is equals to, I'm adding forward slashes. The regular expression starts and ends with the forward slash. So whatever we are giving the regular expressions must be between these forward slashes. After that, I'm adding caret symbol, which means it's a starting point. What are the values we are entering after the caret symbol? To check it matches the validation to the given email ID or not. Now the email ID I want to allow the capital letters A to Z as well as small letters A to Z and also I am allowing 0 to 9. After that I am adding the special characters underscore backward slash iPhone backward slash dot and the special characters only allow underscore and iPhone plus backward slash at I'm adding the same code it's a domain name whether it's a Gmail or Yahoo whatever plus capital AZ, small AZ, 
Now between these curly braces, I am adding two command four. Now after the dot is an extension of the domain. Whether it's a dot com or dot info, the extension words must be between two and four. If the extension words contains more than four, it's not a valid email. Dollar semicolon. So after that. Now I'm checking the condition if the entered email value in the text box control is matches to this regular expression or not. For that I'm using if condition rest dot test method. It's a JavaScript predefined method. Check the matches the regular expression to the given email ID. So we are entering the email ID, text email dot value. Uh, here, double equals to false. So here the first condition, if the entered email value is not matching to this regular expression, the result is false. So that error message I want to display in this H3 header tag. document dot get element by id between double quotes i'm adding the id results dot inner html is equals to it's not a valid email plus i'm adding this variable email And I want to display this error message in a red color. Document dot get element by ID between double quotes results dot style dot color is equals to red. And also I'm adding the text box control border in the red color document dot get element by id between double quotes the text box id text email dot style dot border is equals to two pixels solid red color i want to display the border color red color of the text box control return false else instead of writing the whole code and pasting here it's a valid email id and i want to display this color is green the text box border is in green color written true that's it we have added the regular expression for the email using javascript for the final step let's copy this function name in the button control i'm adding on click event is equals to I'm pasting the function name. That's it. We have written the email validation in JavaScript. Uh, the return false must be inside this if condition. Let's save this file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser. Now let's enter some values. I'm entering some random values. When I click button control, see it's not a valid email ID. Suppose it's Charan at gmail.com. It's a valid email ID. If I enter .com some other text, so it's not a valid email ID. And the email ID, I'm allowing the capital letters, small letters, and numbers. ch3 at gmail.com. I'm deleting this. 
let's check this email id is valid or not so it's a valid email id if i enter some special characters which i am not allowing dollar or percentage see we got an error message it's not a valid email id because the special characters we have mentioned only the underscore is allowed and iphone is allowed other than that the special characters for example hash is not allowed that's it